What's up, dudes? It's Molly. I'm just trying to turn this off. Okay. So, I was just sitting here chilling outside, taking a little break, looking at my garden. Things are starting to come up. Um, and then I thought, yeah, thought exercise. Yeah, so all of a sudden, download Soul School's in session. We're doing thought exercises. How prepared are we? Like, we think about, like, those people with, like, those bug-out stashes and all that kind of weird shit. Yeah. <laughs> Should I have a bug-out stash? Should I have, like, water in, like, emergency stuff? Food. What would I do if society collapsed? Oh, my God. Let's do a thought exercise. What would you do if society collapsed? See, because I was... I was kind of laughing at these people. I was on X, just kind of like silently reading conversations. And it was a bunch of people, city folk. I'm, and I'm, I'm a city folk myself. Uh, who, urban people, who said, well, complete collapse of society. There was no, if there was no food, if something happened, yeah. Well, we just forage and grow our own food. Oh, that's a good plan. Forage and grow your own food. Yep. Well, is that delusional or is, yeah, is that real or not real? Well, let me, let's see. Is that real or not real? Are we going to get real truthful or are we kind of delusional? Well, let's see. Do we really know, like, where, like, do we truly understand, like, how we get our food beyond the grocery store? We're about to get real. Do we truly we don't know. Oh, fuck. Okay. Should I say? Really? Yeah. Talk about... Uh-huh. Let's give it a go. The Wheel of Fortune is spinning? Yeah. If society collapsed, how would you eat? Well, some, uh, some people said, yeah, well, we just go for it. So, for example, Minneapolis. I don't know how many. I don't know how many exactly citizens are in Minneapolis, but Minneapolis and St. Paul are two major cities that are right next to each other with a river that that separates them both. So it's really one big city. Yeah, which, is, which I think it has like about half a million people combined. So, are we gonna have like? 30,000 people at Powderhorn Park fighting over a dandelion leaf. Hmm. Well, we're going to grow our own food. Oh, we're going to grow our own food. Yeah. Well, yeah, grocery stores ran out of food. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is... Yeah, if you have any sort of paranoia, this might not be a good thought exercise for you. But, if you like, kind of maybe thinking and planning. Yeah. Well, where are you going to get your seeds? And if you're thinking about growing a garden, remember I showed you my collection? We're just seeing if we're all delusional. Delusional about, yeah, we're just going to grow our own food. Yeah, news flash, news report. Grocery stores no longer carry food starting today. Oh shit, yeah. Well, if you're gonna plant a garden, now, on a happier note, if you're gonna plant a garden, uh, and if you have some kids, a radish is a really good thing to plant in a garden. And I don't have any affiliation with any of these uh, seed companies or anything like that. I'm just pulling seeds out of my collection to talk about them. And they're cool because they're one of the, like, 
fastest producing things in the garden. They don't take that long to go from a seed to that. And so your kid, even though your kid may not like the flavor of a radish, they may be very excited about the growth process of a radish. And if you like a radish, for sure slice a piece of it and give it to your kid and let them taste what they, they grew. But if they're like, nah, well, uh, and you like radishes, you can eat the radish in front of your kid and you can say, I'm so glad you grew me this radish. This tastes so good. I'm really lucky because you grew me that radish. I really do like kind of positive parenting stuff with that kind of stuff. Uh, but, and it's also like unboxing radishes and beets. You actually pull them out of the ground and you're like, what's it going to look like? There it is! Oh my God, how cool. So, let's think. The radish, now we're back to hungry. Oh my God, all the grocery stores! Yes. We're gonna plant some radishes right now. They're the fastest growing radishes. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we're okay. Yeah, we got radishes. Okay, so that's the scenario and you have a thing of radishes. Just like this. Once you put your radish seed in the ground, it takes four to six days for that seed to poke through the dirt. The seed. It's already been almost a week. How hungry are you right now? Oh my god. Yeah. Now remember, the radish is one of the fastest producing vegetables from the garden. Okay. It takes 25 days to go from a seed to one of those little balls. It's now been a month that you've had no food. But you're just gonna grow your own food. Yeah, and that's the fastest producing vegetable for the garden is a radish. So let's, let's, just for a thought exercise, are we delusional? Do we, are we really thinking in realistic terms if that's the big plan? All right, listen up sugar daddy. Yes, what's up Pete? All right, a Pete. Once you put a pea, you want to see what a pea seed looks like? If you've never seen a pea seed, imagine what you think it looks like. It's a fucking pea! Yeah! Imagine that! Alright. Once you put it in the ground, it will poke through the dirt 7 to 14 days after you put it in the ground. Two weeks it takes for that pea to start growing. Guess how long it takes before you get one of these? 65 days. That's just over two months before you get a pot. Let's do some more. A cauliflower. Seedlings emerge in 10 to 21 days. That cauliflower seed has to stay under the dirt for 10 to 21 days before it even pokes up through the dirt. That's almost a month, 21 days. Guess how many days until it's ready to look like that, and you can roast that and eat it in one night, and then it's gone. 70 to 80 days. That's how much time goes into that roasted cauliflower that you, you eat for 45 minutes, and then it's gone. But we're just going to grow our own food. Are we being delusional? Oh my God. Okay, it's not to scare anybody. This is just thoughts. It's reality. Carrot. It's really thinking about how long it takes the food that you eat 
to be available to you. A carrot, anyone want to take a guess? Yeah, I'm wondering too, because my carrots, man, they've been taking for freaking ever to come out of the dirt. This doesn't say when. But it takes 65 to 70 days once it decides to pop out of the dirt to turn into that under the dirt. Yeah, and then you get the unboxing day. That's my favorite day. Beets. Yes. Uh, if you are a fan of Alan Sparhawk or Low, uh, he, the band Low, uh, uh, he has super cool, he's, he grows up a really good beat. Look who's keeping the beat! Yeah, he's got a couple of videos on his Instagram where he shows his garden and he pulls out the beats and I'm literally like, Oh, I'm jealous. <laughs> he pulls his beach up. Yeah, so really pulling them out of the ground is kind of, it's like, uh, I hear like scratching a lottery ticket. <laughs> okay, it's like scratching a lottery ticket. All right. And everyone is a winner, darling. 60 to 70 days for a carrot. And so on, and so on, and so on. So, do you have a plant? What would you do? Do you have any seeds? Where would you get seeds? And today, while this is airing, yeah, just if you're gardening, if you're thinking about gardening, if you're local to the Twin Cities, uh, Cub Foods has their, all their seeds 40% off. I think they're Burby brand seeds, good seeds. Uh, organic seeds, everything is 40% off. It's been that way for uh, past month or so since I've gone in there. And they have a huge selection. So, there's an inside scoop on that one. Cub foods. That's all, folks. Are you hungry? Good thing there's food at the grocery store. <laughs>